Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Ben and today I will explain how to bypass the Oculus Dash startup when using an Oculus headset on PC and access SteamVR directly. What is it for? It allows you to launch SteamVR games without having to launch the Oculus client as well. This means that you will be able to play SteamVR games freeing up over 200 megabytes of memory and lightening the workload on the GPU. After this operation, know that you will no longer be able to use the Oculus menus and functions and obviously the game there are Rift exclusive and therefore cannot be started from Steam VR but only from the Oculus client cannot be started. Don't worry though, because this is a reversible operation and I show you how to go back to the end of the video and also is it done in a few clicks, so you can do it quickly whenever you want. Let's not waste any more time and see how to bypass Oculus Client and directly enter SteamVR with Oculus Killer. Ok, first of all, if your Oculus client is now running, close it. To be sure, open the task manager, look for the Oculus service process and close that too. If you haven't started the Oculus client yet, go straight to the next step. Download Oculus Killer from the link you find in the description and save it on your desk. Browse into the path C, Program Files, Oculus Support, Oculus Dash, Dash and bin and rename the oculus-.exe file to oculus-.exe.buck. Now copy the oculus-.exe file you downloaded into the bin folder and it's done. From now on, every time you open the Oculus client or wear the headset, SteamVR is automatically opened and you will be inside the SteamVR home without first entering the Oculus home. Just if you are using the Valve Index, you will be able to launch all SteamVR games and play them with extra performance, but you will not be able to use the Oculus button on the controller and you will not be able to access the Oculus Oculus games library and therefore will not be able to play them. Now, to restore the original file and be able to access the Oculus Home and start the games in the library, simply delete the downloaded oculus-.exe file and rename the original file back to oculus-.exe without the .bac extension, so that by opening the Oculus client and wearing the headset, you will find yourself inside the Oculus Home and have access to all functions. Let me know down in the comments if you tried Oculus Killer and notice that the performance improvement. Thanks for watching the video completely, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. From then it's all, see you to the next one and see ya in VR. Bye guys.